Hey you guys, so the last video I uploaded for you was a hard one to post for sure. I opened up a lot about my weight and I cried a lot and kind of just opened up about how I was feeling and stuff. I really felt like it was appropriate because I was feeling it in the moment. And um, I think on April 1st I am going to weigh myself and I'm going to weigh myself every single day of April. I honestly don't know if I'm, I'm going to like record my weight via YouTube, but I just need to figure out something that's going to keep me accountable because I need to jumpstart my weight loss and I need it to happen because I really miss being at my lowest weight of 331. Like I felt amazing and now I'm like four, almost 470. It's gross. So, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that, like, I need to do this for me, and I'm tired of feeling this way, and I want to know if you guys want to see those videos of me weighing myself every day, or what you guys want to see regarding that. Yeah. Her smells bad. We're, we just watched the movie Backcountry, and now we're about to watch Pixels with Adam Sandler. So I'm going to turn off this here light. Oh, I went to put this on today. Fabulous, and it smelled like fart, so I guess it's old, but I'm going to throw it out. It smelled like fart. What kind of fart? Hmm. <laughs> so pretty fart. I have a friend that found out she had cancer. I don't know what cancer, because I was trying to figure it out. I was going through her stuff, trying to find it out. But she has gone on an all-vegan diet, and she has also made the choice to not go to a hospital and just go through chemo. She's going to a biomedical center in Mexico this month, and she will be on an all-organic everything. Like... Why is she doing that, though? There, didn't you say there was another guy who did oh, that? Yeah, there's another guy. She read about this guy that had went there because he had kidney cancer, stomach cancer, and, like, even bone cancer. And he went there, and he went on an all-vegan diet, and he went there, and all his cancer went away. All organically. Yeah, like, I have told you guys this before, that, like, going on a vegan diet cures cancer. And a lot of people, like, did not believe me and thought I was just talking out of my butt. But... A lot of the time, we are getting cancer from the things we are putting in our mouth. I know it's hard to believe, and it's not something that people want to believe. But once you stop putting those things in your mouth... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> once you stop putting those things in your mouth, and you start feeding yourself better things, your body kind of just heals itself, and it reacts. Like, your body will react to unhealthy food and your body will react to healthy food and I hope your friend you know I wish her the best of luck how long have you known her for since I was in seventh grade seventh grade yeah and she has a baby oh what's his name it's a her her name sorry Aurora Aurora that's a pretty name so <sighs> like I honestly feel like if I ever got cancer I would completely change the way I ate and that's pathetic because I feel like a lot of people wait until they hit that like rock bottom where they feel like there's nothing they could do. And I feel like even for me, even Destiny, like we need to change our eating habits like now instead of like when I'm bedridden or Destiny gained a billion pounds. Like, you know, I know we both need to lose weight and food cures everything or it makes you have illnesses that's just how it is food is bittersweet but anyways we're going on a date night ironic enough and we're gonna go to laha which is la hacienda which is one of my favorite restaurants and when i go there all i get is chicken rice and beans and it's so freaking good i just can't even explain it so let's go she said it started tasting like alcohol so but yeah, I have pretty much finished all mine. I got like some white chocolate thingy majigger and I put some like cheesecake pieces in it. And the stuff. one that tasted like 
alcohol is the peanut butter flavor. Wait, so maybe it wasn't was it? the peanut butter one. Oh. Um, and maybe it wasn't mixed very well because it was awful. Yeah. And look how cute like it is in here. I love it. I love that blinking light. I like the wall lights. Oh yeah, and the wall lights. And the chairs are super cute. And they have a couch. We're actually sitting on the couch. It's a lot it's a lot comfier, I must say. I don't want to sit on plastic. And they have, so you sit in those like domey chairs or you sit on these things and these aren't comfortable at all because you have to like hold yourself up. Oh yeah, and there's these. That could be like a good footrest, you know? Okay, so we just got back from date night and errand day and we went to Target and look what we got. We've been wanting Legos for a long time so we got two sets of the 790 pieces. This was really expensive and it's gonna be put into good use I have a feeling so so I'm not a breakfast person at all like I hate breakfast but people always say at least eat something so I got four different types of bars I got a special K chewy snack bar and soft pretzel chocolate a cliff crunch and white chocolate macadamia nut a nature valley soft bake oatmeal square and peanut butter and a kind peanut butter dark chocolate like i've just never cared for breakfast i'm not hungry when i first wake up for the most part so i can go a good three four hours without eating but it's not good for you and since we've been packing a lot like some of our pots and pans are currently packed away so it's kind of hard to be cooking right now so i got some tv dinners and they're the lean cuisine kind I got two orange chickens, two of the Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese, because those are my two favorite. I got a sesame chicken, asparagus and cheese ravioli, a ricotta cheese and spinach ravioli, and a spinach artichoke ravioli. So I know these are delicious and it's going to be super easy to eat. All you do is warm them up in the microwave. So we're going to clear off the kitchen table because if you guys were wondering what this was, Destiny and I made jello inside of eggs for Easter and we made them for the residents and they freaking love them. So we're going to clean off the table and freaking Lego it up. Now the next thing is this house I'm going to make. Yeah, I'm following instructions because I am not this creative. Like, mm-mm. So here is where my duck lives. Look how cute. Grass. I got a tree. I got a chimney. I have roof, windows, a door that opens. I have little places to walk. I have a mailbox. This is a sidewalk, fence, flowers. This is so cute. Dirt. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. She's still working on hers. I tend to finish first. I think I just... I think I'm going to become a Lego builder and make tons of money from it. What do you guys think? What do you think, Destiny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's jealous. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering, I got Diet Dr. Pepper. Or, I always get Diet Dr. Pepper. I meant to say I got Diet uh, Mountain Dew. Okay. Next masterpiece is a little scooter thing. So here's Deli the Duck's transportation, and I must admit, this one was by- I feel like I'm gonna puke, hence why I have a trash can right in front of my face. I feel so bad, and like, this has happened before, like when I used to have smoothies with bananas, I don't know if I'm having like a food allergy to bananas, like just fresh bananas, raw bananas, whatever, like. <sighs> I'm just never eating bananas again because like I've been eating on them cherries for days and I haven't felt this way. The minute I eat some bananas, I'm like, Ugh. like I feel really sick. Like I feel really bad right now and it sucks so bad. Oh, it sucks. So it's been about 20 minutes and I'm feeling a little better. My stomach still hurts really bad, but I just want to show you guys something. Jack's Twinkie Star. I got the Chloe, there is, this one is Diesel, blue is right here, and then we have Digger. All on one couch, it's like a big old happy family, huh? 
Oh, Twinkie's mad at me because all the, all the, all the babies are on me and Twinkie likes to have me to herself. Don't you? Oh, but yeah, so I think we're going to go now. Um, we're also going to pick up Cameron if you guys remember him. So he might stay here for a couple days. Duh. No, it won't. No, it won't. I saw a camera a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> now it's really like, hey. Hey, baby. But not when he tries to make a goat noise, he goes, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Oh my word, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> What's up, please? Wasabi, are you going crazy for that cat nap? Look at you. Oh. Well, he didn't know what to think about it last night. She's like, what? Who are you? Ooh, get lightheaded. <laughs> Careful. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make me and Amber Lynn some cucumber and cream cheese sandwiches with a side of carrot sticks. Okay guys, so I cut the cucumber into squares because it, it gets the peeling off the sides and Amber Lynn doesn't really like it that much. And it makes it easier on the sandwich, but I keep the sides because that's Twinkie's favorite little snack. So I'm gonna put these ones in the fridge for her for tomorrow. Okay guys, so um I just use this it's Walmart brand cream cheese spread. This if you get the cream cheese spread, it makes it easier to spread obviously. And then when me and Amberlynn really are digging this bread, it's artisanal style bread and it is just it's like big pieces and it's really good. All right guys, and there you go. Sandwich with some healthy little side carrot sticks and cucumber squares so i'm not a beer person i hate beer on to the point in beer if it's like if you're drinking alcohol you're trying to get a little tipsy drunk feel something and it's like you need a lot of beer to feel that way so i don't know but <laughs> destiny just tried bud light and what'd you think it was all right i've never had bud light before so i want to try it on camera i don't really like beer corona is like the only beer that I've ever really drank in. And it's not even that good, so. Mm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! God! How could people just sit there and drink that, baby? Oh! Oh! Best thing! Bud Light tastes like salty water with someone's socks in it. Clementines. I've been using this thing for water. It holds 48 ounces and it is so big and I've had experiences with Bubba where their plastic tastes funny but with that one the plastic does not taste funny in the slightest so I like to just add whatever water I have on hand. I use sink water at work but here where we live do not. I repeat do not drink the sink water. It is so disgusting. Oh, anyways. So, meal number one. So, we got her a cell phone case. It's a waterproof lifeguard kind of case. I didn't get like, lifeproof. I got, it's called punk case. Punk Everyone case. said, there's a little. When I was looking up the reviews on it, oh. It said everyone likes this better than life proof because they have a part that's actually has your microphone still out but it doesn't get it wet at the same time it's like protected because mm -hmm. like with life proof it covers up your microphone and it's really hard for people to hear you when you talk on the phone and stuff like this is the one she has now she's had it since she's we've gotten these phones i haven't even got a new cell phone case yet but i told her to get one of these they're only what, I paid $37 in full with shipping and everything. Yeah. 
And when you buy a life proof case, it's $80. Are you going to put it on right now? Yes. All right. Well, cool, huh? So at work, I didn't show you guys. I had, well, I did show you guys, but I wasn't like talking. For lunch, I had chicken and rice. I also had a um, sugar-free chocolate chip cookie, which was delicious. And for dinner, I'm having leftovers. I'm just heating it up over the stove. This was like a soup type thing that I made. And it no longer has soup because, you know, it was in the fridge and stuff. But I'm going to add a little bit more tapatio to it, a little more salsa. And some more green olives um i actually filmed myself making this so if you guys watched it awesome if you didn't you should definitely watch it because this soup is bomb.com seriously so for a snack completely wet like you're walking in puddles and all our stuff is fucked up excuse my language i can't believe this even happened like so we're having to bring all of our room stuff out into the living room and it's just a whole mess of sorts. I sat down to take a break because we have been working it since the minute we woke up. And it's just a really bad timing to be like having our bedroom flooded. And it just really, really sucks. I don't know if it's like going to help us in our packing process or just make things go by even freaking slower and worse. Yes, baby. Oh God, she just said, you better come look at this. Is it bad? Yeah. So this is our bed. And as you can tell, all right here is disgusting because underneath through almost the whole thing is soaking, sopping, like dripping, disgustingly wet. And when Destiny and Libby picked it up, the bed is so heavy, so I couldn't do it because of my disc. And when they picked it up, the back of it, there's already three splotches of mold. And for it to grow that quickly is kind of weird. Um, Destiny's mom is pretty smart. She's actually like a housekeeper slash like cleaner person type deal. So she knows how to like fix things like this. So we called her and said, we need to prop it up against the wall put a fan on it. She did say blow dryer, but I don't have a blow dryer. I don't use a lot of heat to my hair. Whole other story. Um, so she said, okay, just put a fan on it. And she said, get bleach, like spray bleach and spray it while it's being dried. So I don't know if we should sleep on a moldy bleachy bed tonight, but that's probably going to happen. And if I die because of it or get sick, I love you guys. It was great knowing you. And I just, so I wanted to show you guys some of the mold it's right here, there, and there. So we're spraying it and hopefully that helps. Hey, it's doing something because when I sprayed it black went down. And you're not supposed to scrub it, right? I you're mean, it says to... you can. Well, I guess we'll just do what seems to be the right way i mean do you want to scrub it or My no said to spray it and let it dry okay dry. we need our fan from the room i'm afraid it might start seeping. Then we'll put i mean it's, it's not wet on that in that much though so i introduced libby to a flavor of freaking love i'm loving it and it's she's so loving good. it what do you think twinkles so we have the bed sitting up, and oh my god, that mildew stuff completely made the mildew Twinkie. disappear. She, eat, she ate my pizza crust. Twinkie, you don't need no pizza crust. That's Libby's, by, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, the mildew's completely gone. I honestly can't even believe it. But I kind of prefer the couch over here, because it was over there, but that's where we had to put the bed at. And... I kind of like it. And we finally have a TV in the living room. Like, a little too late, though. Hey, guys. So, I just woke up. And, like, I just wanted to vlog something real quick. I'm about to go to work. And I'm just getting in a 
abundance amount of questions about where I'm moving, people are guessing where I'm moving, what I'm doing with my life. People, people are even spreading rumors that are just crazy about where I'm moving and what I'm doing. And I just, Destiny and I have not talked about it with you guys because there was a lot of things that we had to fix and figure out. And there was a lot of things that we want, we questioned whether we should tell YouTube certain things because this is pretty serious. And I'm just going to let you guys know right now, short form, where we're moving, what's happening. And I'm not going to go into like complete details because it's like Destiny's not ready for that because this is mainly like her thing that I just brace yourself. <sighs> Ever since Destiny was a little girl, she lived, I mean, she lived in Kentucky for a little bit with her mom, but it was not long. Just like a couple is putting us in this situation so we can help her and be there for her. So we are moving to Kentucky. Um, our lease is up here May 7th, but we're not going to be going to Kentucky until like June 2nd. So for like three weeks, we are going to be staying with her grandma, which is still in Florida. And then for, I want to say about five days, we're going to be at a beach house. And for two days, we're going to be in a hotel. So it's going to be a mess for the month of May and I just can't wait until everything is settled down and about are we gonna have jobs when we move where are we gonna live etc etc so there is a place in Kentucky that we are interested in living um, but we're going to be staying with her mom for a little bit so we can like take care of her and be with her and all this type of stuff so we are going to be doing that for a little bit but then when we move on from that we pretty much have a place pretty squared away that we want to stay at and then regarding a job there's actually a um job we are both interested in there that we're gonna do once we're done like trying to focus on her mom and whatnot but when we first get there no we will not have jobs do not freaking fret we're going to get one we have to get one um, we are safe. Wasabi, no! No, boy! No, 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 no! He's chewing on the... Sorry, Wasabi was chewing on the phone cord and I had, I had to handle that. D don't do it again, Wasabi! Oh my god, he never does this! So, Destiny and I um, have saved a lot of money for this move because we really are just interested in like a big change and different experiences and... Honestly, I was in Florida for like a little less than a week. I mean, I was in Kentucky for a little less than a week and I actually really liked it there. I enjoyed it there and me and Destiny's mom got really close and I just really want to be there for her when we can. And I we already told our work, which is really sad because like I'm going to miss, you know, the residents and just I love working where I work. I really do. So that was a big thing where I was like, oh, it smells so good. Oh, you guys should get these. These are awesome. This is cherry blossom, like little bubble things. And it makes your bathroom smell delicious. As you can tell, I love the whole pink theme. Cute though, right? I even have pink soap. Anyhow, today is what you call my filming day where I film a shit ton of videos because um I hope my butt wasn't showing in the mirror <laughs> that'd be cute <laughs> because when I work it's too hard to like sit there and film a ton when I'm working like just don't work that way so I am filming today I've already filmed two videos I want to film like three more YouTube has become very time consuming but I love every single minute of it you guys are freaking amazing like I'm getting so many snapchats today of people who just they're brightening brightening my day does that make sense brightening my day like saying how much they love me and that they're fangirling because I replied like you guys are so cute and I love you you guys are what keeps me going 
I'm so annoyed. I ordered Chinese food from somewhere I've never had before and it sucked. I ordered Kung Pao chicken, um, chow mein, white rice, and it was so disgusting. I couldn't eat it, which is shocking because I am a Chinese type of gal. <laughs> like, I love Chinese food. I don't know. Mighty quickly. Um, that's from earlier. Well, last night, really. I forgot all about it till I came up in the kitchen. If it starts to boil over like that, just blow on it. So. I think what I'm going to have is this fella. Pantry's a mess. Vegan minestrone soup. So, that should be easy to make. You just add water and then put it in the um, good old microwave. Okay, so Destiny was on her way home from work and she called me in a frantic. And I want her to share with you guys what happened. Oh, I gotta hug my piggy. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's like this intersection, there's a CVS and there's a Circle K and then like in between them is a road. What are you doing? Why is it so... I, it's not like, that close. I know, but you're like stretching your arm out like that. <laughs> oh cool, yeah. And, uh, there's a red light and there's like the main road and then if you go to the right, that's where that Circle K and that CVS is. And then to the left is Walgreens and then like another road going into a neighborhood. Well... There was this truck that was turning. It was right beside the CVS. It was like in the turning lane to go right onto the main road. And I was at the stoplight. It was red. One? No. When when you when you're supposed to call nine one one when you see something like that. You were and too frantic. You called me. It, it almost happened to me. I was almost in it. I wasn't about to grab my phone because then. But what? you called me though, baby. I know, but it it was like. I was down the road a little I bit. I understand, but, um, I'm just glad it wasn't you. And then when you called on, me, I thought you said that you got in a car crash mm -hmm. and I almost started crying. Then I pulled onto the road before our road and there was three cop cars lined up behind this one lady. She was like fighting them. <laughs> oh my like, God. Everyone's out tonight doing some bad shit. All the crazies are out. Well, did you have a good day at work at least? Yeah, Vicky came and said bye to everybody. She said she was oh, hoping cook? you were there. Whatever. Yeah, she wanted to say bye to you, but she'll be back next month and we'll be gone. Yeah, well, we will be. Oh, I missed you. But guess who I saw at Walmart? Who? Her baby daddy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was awkward. I was going to say hey to him, but he doesn't really know me. <laughs> you just burped. I held it in. I missed you. I missed you. Twinkie missed you. She always misses it. Don't show my book, <laughs> Don't show your book, <laughs>